Today is a historic day. We're returning the south of country, returning Kherson. The people of Kherson were waiting. They never gave up on Ukraine. Hope for Ukraine is always justified, and Ukraine always returns its own. And Ukrainians are celebrating the retreat of Russian troops from Kherson as Ukrainian forces take back the first city to fall under Russian control in early March. It is day 262 of this war. For more on this, joining us live from Kiev is Ukrainian parliament member Lysia Vasilenko. Lysia, thank you for taking time. Your reaction to this development of the Ukrainian troops going into Kherson. Well, you know, the mood is very much uplifted and it's uh, smiles are back on everyone's faces, my, my own included. Every time I, I see the news or give interviews and, and hear about Kherson uh, being back under the Ukrainian flag, I cannot help but smile. It's definitely uh, reassuring and re-encouraging to see uh, that victory is on Ukraine's side, that, but it's only the beginning of victory. Well, we have to remember that uh, still many cities of Ukraine are under Russian occupation and that our military continues to do its extremely difficult job to regain uh, Ukrainian territories and reinstate Ukrainian flags and Ukrainian control. And it's not just about the territories, mainly it's about the people. Right now, uh, you are showing these images from Kherson and how the people were greeting the Ukrainian army and the Ukrainian flags with embraces and with sheer happiness and relief. And this is exactly about that, why we want to get the territories back under Ukrainian control, so that these people can return to living their life to the full and in freedom. And we are also told while Kherson is liberated, the region of Kherson, Russian troops remain there. It's an important strategic uh, area because of its closeness, proximity to that uh, Crimean land bridge to Russia. So is there some concern that the victory of the city is not as significant as really the work to be done? And is, Lysia, the U.S. doing enough to support Ukrainian forces? Uh, well, the U.S. has said time and time again that Ukraine will have support for as long as needed. And for Ukrainians, this need is defined by the number of Russian soldiers in Ukrainian territory. So Ukrainians will be fighting until the very last soldier uh, of Russia leaves Ukraine. This is for how long we will be needing uh, U.S. support. Just uh, over the last 24 hours, a new, uh, a new tranche, a new batch of U.S. military support was announced. It is much, much needed. And we are hoping that the weapons and also the ammunition for these weapons will be arriving steadfast in, in Ukraine because speed is of the essence. Time is of the essence right now. It is uh, a matter of days that uh, the minus ten temperatures, that the cold will set in, and that will make any counteroffensive and any military advancement much, much more difficult. Yep. And that will mean that we would have to uh, build up the defensive. It so it's basically these days that we want to make the most use of and to push the Russians out of the rest of Kherson and out of the rest of the eastern regions that are under occupation. Alicia, just quickly, in the 10 seconds we've got left, is it time for President Biden to visit Kyiv? Oh, absolutely. We are waiting for President Biden. The support will be very much heartfelt, and it's a much needed moral support for our military and for our civilians, who will definitely get the message, although they are under Russian occupation, that the U.S. stands strong yep. with Ukraine and that uh, the whole world is fighting to see victory set for democracy. Ukrainian Parliament member Alicia Vasilenko, thank you very much for taking time. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.